Time Magazine. Look at this. Gotta love it. Yummy. Time Magazine. There you go. Proof right there. U.S. News and World Report Plus spotlighted on the Food Network. Any ideas? Steph? Well, I have a couple ideas only because I can see her T-shirt over there. It happens to say Sweet Republic. Sweet right Republic. Republic. Sweet. All right. So the answer is, of course, Sweet Republic in Scottsdale. And our photojournalist, Tori Garcia, shows us the scoop on a Valley Sweet Spot. <laughs> Two words, artisan ice cream. Wait, that's three, but you get the idea. We all love ice cream. The taste, relaxing. The sweet tooth, tamed. And of course, memories. It's all about just sort of like taking it back to the basic as well as um, exploring. Sweet Republic opened in May 2008. And that was actually a couple of years in the making. Jan and I were investment bankers. We went through 9-11, got a wake-up call due to follow our passions. That passion was food, which turned to this creamy treat that can be a blank canvas for classic flavors and new ideas. It's a little bit of an art and a science, and I think that that's where, um, how we kind of fall into it, just because for us, food was a great passion, but at the same time, we wanted something that was contained enough that the two of us can handle every aspect of it. Because you can take the girls out of banking, but it's hard to take the bankers out of the girls. Um, so we wanted um, to make sure that we get the highest quality of everything. After doing their research on the not so glamorous side of ice cream, like how it will be served, how to sell it, and of course, the pint. Well, we make the ice cream every day. But, you know, if you take home a pint, it might sit in your fridge for a couple of weeks. We want to make sure that, you know, at the end of that two weeks, you're still getting really good ice cream. We're still using all natural ingredient, and we're not using any artificial, like, plastic type stabilizer. Years later, Sweet Republic has created a sweet and locally inspired menu of artisan ice cream that changes seasonally, but keeps some neighborhood favorites, too. So I'm going to be making a toffee banoffee for you. That's going to be a double scoop of Madagascar vanilla ice cream in a homemade waffle bowl with fresh banana, our house-made caramel sauce, as well as our made-from-scratch almond toffee, and of course, fresh whipped cream. Made to order ice cream sandwich. This takes two of our made-from-scratch chocolate chip cookie, your favorite flavor of ice cream. One of my particular favorite is uh, our real mint chip, which is made from fresh mint leaves. That's what makes it real. It's not bottled mint, and that's where the green is from. Another cookie on top, and there you go, ice cream sandwich. The atmosphere is whatever you want it to be. A child's paradise, a date night, or just a quick escape for some me time with a bite of happiness. We just feel so incredibly lucky to, to love what we do and to have people appreciate it and to have our neighborhood support us and to have our local farmers. What I hope people get out of it is taste of freshness, all the love, all the hard work that goes into every every ice cream and really enjoy it and hopefully tell their, all their friends about it and come back for more. It's just a combination of, you know, keeping that tension between comfort food and adventurous food and just trying to keep that balance going for a long, long time and hoping that everybody has fun making the ice cream as well as eating it. My last ad is, what's your favorite flavor? Of course, I would say all of it. But one toasty campfire treat comes to mind. So now we're going to be making the chocolate campfire s'more sundae. This is actually one of my favorite um, sundae that we have. It's a double scoop of our Belgian chocolate. We do make everything from scratch, including the chocolate paste that we use for the chocolate ice cream. Our hot fudge, pure chocolate, butter and cream, a dollop of fresh whipped cream, a little bit more drizzle of the hot fudge. Then we top it off with one of our homemade marshmallows. These are made from scratch in a tray. That's why they're square and not round. And now for some of my favorite part of this. And that's a campfire s'more. Trust me, delicious till the last crack of that waffle cone. Memories of sitting by the campfire could happen. Oh, man. And That's how so lucky squishy. are we, right? Joining us now to make one of their delicious Sundays is Jan from Sweet Republic. Welcome, Jan. Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. Now, notice I just said Jan and not your last name because it's very long. How do you say your last name? Wichianupap. 
Wichiana Pop. Wichiana Pop. Okay. Yeah. That sounds like it would be easy, but it's not. But it's welcome. Not. I'm so excited. And Stephanie, you, you've been to Sweet Republic. Yeah, I do remember, Jan. I remember when you first started. Yeah. Was it was four years ago? Yes. I remember I, I, we were here on Center and Living. I remember we yeah. went out there and we figured that you, know, you sent some over and we tasted it. And I, and I was like, this is, this is a different thing. So let's describe to our viewers, as we start to make a Sunday, if we could, really kind of what your concept was when you first got into this business of, of ice cream with a twist, if you will. Sure. I mean, I think um, I'm a total ice cream lover. Two scoops a day, every day. Really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. You need a shirt with that. <laughs> yeah. So um, well, what we wanted to do with the ice cream was basically um, we just want to bring ice cream back to its root, uh -huh. like in terms of just making it really good, making it from scratch. We use um, Arizona milk and cream. That's nice. Um, so, eggs. Awesome. So, we're, so we're definitely all natural where, where we can. Mm -hmm. We're also... Um, like using local ingredients um, in term of like um, you know um, fresh mint leaf for our real mint chip ice cream uh, we believe in doing it the hard way right. I guess. Yeah. so everything is done from scratch um, like when as I'm assembling this Sunday here you know we make our own fresh whipped cream we make our own fudge are those marshmallows we make our own marshmallows yeah oh I can my tell gosh. So, I gotta try and, and one of get those. This. I shouldn't, but I will. Just, just the base of this stuff. This is what your oatmeal, chocolate chip, chip cookie, wal walnut cookie, walnut cookie. Wow. They weigh them all a quarter pound cookie. Yep. That's how we shape them. We're That's like, it's amazing. a quarter pound. And what I'm putting together right now is our ultimate sundae. And what this is for is, um, you know, for somebody who wants ice cream as a meal or someone who can't decide what they want on their ice cream. So we're just going to go for everything. <laughs> That's crazy. So this could be breakfast, lunch, or dinner is what you're saying. Exactly. Love that. So I want to talk about some, as you continue to build, um, tell me about some of the, the unique flavors that caught the attention of Time Magazine and many of the other la national publications. Sure. Um, in addition to um, wanting to do all the classic flavor well, we also want to have a lot of fun with our ice cream. And what that means is um, right now in the case, we have um, Szechuan peppercorn chocolate. So it's a citrusy pepper, not a spicy pepper. So you're getting that hint of orange, a little bit of a tingling sensation on your um, tongue, and, um, and just good, rich chocolate. Wow. We're also doing um, sweet corn, highlighting um, local flavors, um, using locally grown corn in addition to um, our Arizona I think I would enjoy cream. that. Does it have a s real sweet flavor? Yeah. Um, what, what or is that, it like a, like a more sorbet kind of flavor? Nope. It's, um, it's like a rich corn pudding almost. What we do is we take fresh corn on the cob, we shave off all the kennel, and then we, um, we take the cob, we steep it in our milk and cream, bring it to a boil, let it steep overnight to you know, just get that flavor, extract mm -hmm. the full flavor. We then blend in the um, half of the kennel that we've um, kept. And then we candy the other half. Oh so my gosh, after we the make the ice cream, then we fold it all in together. Oh, Crazy. You're making me tired just thinking about it. Now, you, and so you said you make your own marshmallows, but we you do. also make your own whipped cream. Whipped cream. This is all homemade, yes. so to speak. It is all made from scratch. <laughs> we make our own. This is as big as our head. I know. So we make our own <laughs> fudge. <laughs> We make oh, our own. Is this your topping here? That is my topping. Oh, more, more, because more. caramel, more because chocolate. there's never enough caramel. <laughs> uh, I mean, on an ultimate Sunday at Sweet is Republic. Insane. Where <laughs> does this go? Right on top, like right a shirt. Right on top. Can I? Oh, are you gonna make it pretty? <gasps> yes. Yes, you watch, can. Watch. Move your hand. What she's gonna do? Stand then, back, everybody. I've always wanted to use one of these. Can I try? Absolutely. What, what Go for it. What um, are we what, doing? You know, what we're doing is we're toasting the marshmallow because marshmallow is always better toasted. Absolutely. Do we, are we like trying to get the middle all gooey, ooey? Exactly. And okay. you just stop whenever you want to stop because that's or what when we the ice cream ourselves. melts. Right, right. I just like it. I like it kind of caramely but not burnt, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So then. Okay, but how do you turn it off now? Okay. <laughs> There you go. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. <gasps> that is insane. How many of those do you sell a week? Um, it depends. Like, um, when, um, there when there's a triathlon going on, we sell a heck of a lot. I bet you do. I bet you do. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Okay, ready? Okay, let's see here. Wait, I got to give, give a bite to JC. He's working so hard over here. You ready? Mm. Here we go. Ooh, is that your... Here we go. Is that your... What, what is the sauce that has a little bit mm. of a salty flavor to it? That's mm. a salted caramel sauce. Salt, okay. Is that yeah, good? The caramel sauce isn't your ordinary all-sweet caramel sauce. It has a, a bit of salt to it. That's oh my gosh. Delicious. Well, this you know what? Fab. I can't wait to see what you do in the next year because you are constantly just, I don't know where you come up with these ideas for these. Well, we just love food. I, um, my business partner um, is, also, um, is also our ice cream chef, and she makes all the ice cream. And Give her a <gasps> shout out since she's not here. <laughs> it's Helen Young, who's okay. 
being chained in the kitchen right now, making ice cream as we speak. Well, Helen, we're sorry you're not here. Making all those ingredients that she was talking about earlier. Absolutely. That in itself is a process. It's a labor of love. It is. We love it. And we can tell because it tastes amazing. Well, thank you for coming down and building a decadent Sunday for us. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. All right, all of the information about Sweet Republic is on sonoranliving.com. All right, well, it is so...